Hi, I'm Mary Haugen, a biologist and product developer in our Living Materials Department at Carolina Biological Supply Company. Today I'll discuss handling and receiving the Painted Lady Butterfly Larvae. The Painted Lady is an easy to use insect for life science studies in the elementary and middle school classroom. Carolina offers several options for viewing and interacting with the butterfly life cycle. There are cups with butterfly media and larvae already added, eggs, chrysalises, or adults. Today I'll discuss our most popular life cycle option, the larval stage. This is the Painted Lady Butterfly Culture, which contains five to six larvae. Caring for the larvae is very simple. There is enough food in the bottom of the cup for each caterpillar to complete the larval stage. Keep the lid on the cup throughout the larval stage. Don't worry, it has holes punched in it to allow air to get inside. The larvae should be kept at room temperature and away from direct sunlight. The larvae are not very active during this stage of development. You may even begin to think your caterpillars have died, but this isn't the case. To check them, gently open the lid and push aside the paper. Using the side of the brush, gently touch the end or side of the larva. A response from the larva indicates that it is alive. Be sure not to pick at the larva with the tips of the brush, as this may damage the larva. Replace the paper and lid. Over the next few days, the media will darken. Frass, or caterpillar excrement, body parts from the molting process, and white webbing will appear. This is all normal and should be left in the cup. Do not attempt to remove it. The caterpillars will use the network of webbing to assist them in their crawl to the top of the cup. You may notice that the caterpillars are eating the white paper at the top of the jar. They haven't run out of food, but are getting ready to form their chrysalis. Once the larvae have begun to form their chrysalis, wait two days for them to harden. Removing them before they have had time to harden can damage the developing butterfly. Remove the lid and paper carefully, as there may be some webbing attached to the chrysalises and the inside of the cup. Hang the paper with the chrysalises inside of the habitat. You can secure the paper to the netting with a straight or safety pin. Remember to close the cage door. Keep the habitat at 72 degrees Fahrenheit and wait five to seven days for your adults to emerge. If a chrysalis should fall off the paper, gently pick it up. Take a piece of scotch tape and gently place it across the abdomen of the chrysalis onto a piece of tissue paper. Hang the new tissue paper from the inside of the habitat. Or you can place the chrysalis on the bottom of the habitat. Keep in mind that if the butterfly is weak, it may not crawl up the side of the habitat to pump its wings and may not survive. If the chrysalis attaches directly to the lid, lean the lid against the inside of the habitat. When the adults emerge, you may notice a reddish-orange fluid coming from the chrysalis. This is not blood, but a substance called muconium, which is the accumulated waste products from the metamorphic process. To feed the adults, mix two teaspoons of table sugar with a half cup of spring water. Place it in a shallow dish with a mesh sponge, which allows this butterfly's space to land and drink. Replace with fresh sugar water daily to prevent mold growth. Make certain the sponge and container haven't come into contact with any soap. If you have ordered our 33 or 65 to 75 larvae sets, you will need to divide them into one ounce cups with media within 24 hours of receipt. This is because there isn't enough food in the shipping cup to maintain them through the rest of the larval stage. Make certain to wash your hands with soap and water prior to beginning this process. Each cup requires only a quarter inch of media. Too much food decreases the space in which the larva can move and grow. Use a spatula or clean plastic spoon to transfer the media to each cup. Do not use your fingers. Fill all of the cups before adding any larva to ensure that you have enough food for each cup. Any leftover food can be refrigerated for up to two weeks. Use a paintbrush to move the larva from the shipping cup to each one ounce cup. Remember to use the side of the brush. Place the tissue over the opening of the cup and secure it with the lid. Cut the paper to fit around the lid. The lid has pre-punched holes for air and keep them at room temperature. After two days, remove the paper and secure it to the inside of your butterfly habitat. Keep the habitat at 72 degrees Fahrenheit and wait five to seven days for your adults to emerge. That's the basics of caring for your painted lady butterfly larvae. Visit carolina.com slash butterflies to find more products and resources for your insect life cycle studies.